One of the biggest mistakes that I see TypeScript developers making, especially if they're using AI, is they don't properly handle their types. In our case, we have a user type here with an ID, a name, and an age, and then we have a function to create a user that takes in a name and an age. Rather straightforward, this all seems like it makes sense and is good code, but the problem is, is that these two types, this name and age right here, and this full user type, are actually technically the same type. They're just partially different from each other. For example, this one contains an ID, while this one doesn't. But everything else should be exactly the same. So if I add something to my user, such as another property, which should be a string, well, now I need to add that exact same property down here as well. And as you can see, if there's dependencies like this, it becomes difficult to update, because if I forget to add this property here, then I have broken code inside my application. So instead of just rewriting what your type should be, you should always be deriving your types whenever possible. And this is where all of the different utility types inside of TypeScript come in play. For example, I can come in here and I can use the pick or omit type. In this case, it would make sense to use omit because omit will take in an existing type such as user, and then we can remove anything we want from that type. So in our case, we can say that we want to remove the ID property from our user. And now you can see my user has age, another, and name, just like we would expect. And if I remove another from up here, you can see it automatically removes it from this type down here. So anytime you're dealing with these different types and you want to be able to derive one type from another, the best thing to do is either use pick or omit. For example, if I were to do pick here, for example, I only want this to take a name and an age and nothing else, I could say name, just like that, put a little pipe symbol, and then I could also put age as my second property. So just to bring that onto a new line, so it's a little bit easier to see what's going on. You can see our code looks like this. User is the first thing we pass, and then we pass essentially a list of all the things we want to only accept. And now you can see it only accepts age and name. Now, of course, if I add another property here, that's not going to show up in the list down below because I specifically said it only accepts name and age. So you can see here, this is only name and age. So depending on what you want, if you want to pick specific types or omit specific types, these are utility types you really want to make sure you understand and always try to derive your types when dealing with types in TypeScript instead of rewriting them every single time you need them.